In today's video, I'll attempt to turn Super Splitter Short Out into... Sorry about that guys. Try it again. Okay, look, I spent so much time on my last video making this display case, I don't really have anything planned for today's custom. But hey, what else is new? What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to the Eddie's World Workshop. With no theme or idea planned for today's build, let's rummage through the Lego box and see what we can find. And I know what you guys are thinking. Make Thanos, Captain America, Iron Man, Kermit the Frog. It's not like I've run out of ideas. It's just that I like to really plan out each build and sometimes even order special parts. And it just so happens that this week, I'm a little unprepared. So I figured, why not make an original custom warrior? I really like this shark head. I don't know where it's from, but it's perfect for today's project. He looks really menacing and his teeth kind of remind me of Nozart from an attack aircraft. Those were all pictures of the A-10 Thunderbolt. Pretty awesome, right? I think I have an idea for today's build. Let's get to work. I'll carefully take off Short Out's weapons and head so we can use them in a future project. In order for this Lego shark head to work, we need to cut off the tail right below the dorsal fin. But I think the tail looks good and I just might have an idea that will allow us to keep that look. First, I'm going to cut the tail into four segments. Next, I'll drill a hole right down the middle of each piece. And finally, I'll glue them to some nylon string, leaving little gaps in between each segment. Those gaps will allow for movement. And what we end up with is this. That'll definitely work and nothing out there even looks close to this guy. I'm going to be adding details to our figure's shoulders and head, so we need to grind off whatever these things are and his mohawk. Now, let's make the replacement parts out of some Fimo. I couldn't get the engines to the exact shape I wanted, but the hardened Fimo can still be contoured with a filing tool. Before we super glue these twin turbo fans on, I'll round down the shoulders for a snug fit. And now, we are ready to paint. Thank you. 
you ready to see our A10 Thunderbolt themed shark mech? Here he is! I decided to name him Thunderbolt. Stay tuned for the Thunderbolt Battle Challenge video coming soon. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We'll be back next Saturday with another custom Akato Warrior. So don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we will see you in the next video.